When we use the distance formula, we also want to think of that as giving us the length of a segment. So we have a segment AB on our graph, and we want to find the length of it. This will also give us the distance between the points A and B. The distance formula is the square root of x2 minus x1 squared plus y2 minus y1 squared. So we're going to apply it to the, the uh, segment that we have. So I'm going to label my a coordinates x1, y1, x2, y2, and I could have labeled the other way around, a, a being the x1, y1. But what I'm going to get is the length ab is equal to the square root, now I plug in the values I have. So for x2, it's going to be 6 minus x1, which is 2. That's squared. Plus my y values would be 5 minus 2, and that's squared. I then go to simplify. 6 minus 2 is 4 squared. 5 minus 2 gives me 3 squared. I square the two values. I get 16 plus 9 which becomes the square root of 25, so I can say that AB is 5 units in length. Now we look at another one. I have CD now, and I want to find the length of CD. Maybe I wanted to see if they were congruent, so I had to compare the length. So to find CD, I again use the distance formula, and just to help, I'm going to label x1, y1, x2, y2, and I get 7 minus 1 squared plus negative 3 minus 5 squared. Seven minus one gives me six, and that's squared. Negative three minus five gives me negative eight, and that's squared. I get six squared is 36, negative eight squared is 64. I combine my two terms, 36 and 64 gives me 100, and then the square root of 100 is 10, so I have that CD is 10 units in length.